Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with our aircraft carrier, and today we're actually going to be adding some more details to this thing. So, as you guys seen in a previous video, we actually ended up adding this bit down here. Now, it's actually relatively empty at the moment, but I've decided that today we're actually going to add some walkways along the top. Uh, we're going to allow it to actually have uh, maybe more lighting in it, we'll see. Uh, and I also want to be able to get into this room right here if at all possible. Whether it's through the outside or whether it's through the inside, uh, I want to be able to get into this room. So then we can go straight up into here and straight up into the main hangar. That makes sense to me, so uh, yeah, we're going to get on with that today. The other thing is, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and add a little bit more detail to this. Uh, we might actually move the crane controls from up there into here, which is a, uh, a suggested comment, which is actually a very good one. So we might remove these, actually put them inside of here, and uh, that'll be how we move these cranes around. Uh, and then, we might actually... Oh, actually, I don't know. Well, we'll probably see what happens from there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie. So yeah, what I want to do first then is actually go straight into here, go straight down, and straight over to this bit right here. Now you might be wondering why, uh, and the main reason I'm doing this is so that we can paint this uh, in order for it to actually look better. So we're going to go ahead and underline this uh, just like so, we're going to do that as well. Uh, I'm actually going to do all of the top of this, that's fine. Unfortunately, we're going to have to add paint blocks again, that's really annoying. And also, we actually need to intercept this, uh, this huge railing with some more railings, but we won't do that just yet. Uh, we're just going to paint around the outsides first, uh, and then we'll go with that. Hopefully that's okay. So there we go. We've, we've done all of that. That is all fine. With that then being said, we now need to go around the edges again uh, with this new green. So we're going to go around this bit like so. Go this way. Keep it going. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and yeah, we're essentially just going to have to paint all of this in uh, all by itself, which is fine, you know. It's, it's okay to do this. So that one there. Excellent. We're then going to go around this corner. And yeah, we're just going to paint all of this in. With that being said, uh, this will allow us to actually have this area on the top look pretty good. Uh, and then we should be able to go from there. I, I think there's a lot of stuff that we can actually do with this. So yeah, we're going to do that all the way down there. And that will be awesome. Yes. Uh, and that'd be very, very cool. Anyway, uh, I accidentally stopped asking you guys questions in this series. Uh, but I want to get back to it. So what I wanted to ask you guys was whether we should actually turn this thing into like... Uh, a heli carrier eventually or whether we can do it where we do actually send jets off of this thing So let me know in the comments down below whether you think we should allow jets to land and take off from this thing It is of course like a World War 2 carrier So it doesn't make that much sense to do that But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think uh, And then we'll figure that out. But anyway, this bit up here has now been done, which is awesome Let's go ahead and grab this color and jug this bit in uh, which hopefully doesn't interact with anything else I think that is actually it. It is just stuck there. Um, yeah, that works. Nice. So this room is now ready for an interior. I don't know what to put in here, though. Problems. Anyway, now that we've got to that point with that, let's go down into here and start figuring this bit out. So uh, I want some stairs going up the sides, if we can. Probably at the end. Uh, we'll also do this on both sides. Hopefully this is fine. Uh, we then need to essentially just copy this design. Uh, into the actual room, but let's get some stairs and do that first So at the bottom, we're gonna go with these guys. We're gonna make them the same color as these ones and we're gonna do it from here uh, Up the edge, so we're gonna go from about there. We're gonna continue this bit upwards I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna go through the wall though. So maybe here uh, We'll actually do yeah, let's go up to there see if we can get up to there uh, and then we'll figure it out from there so Keep this going up, please. Here we go. Keep it going. And the last little bit is one of these. There we go. Excellent. And now we need to attach all of this together. So that goes to, like, there. That's fine. Uh, we are actually just going to delete all of that and bring that from there over to here. And honestly, that's probably fine. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're going to have this bit be, like, a big balcony. Uh, and then we should be able to go out from there, and that'll be okay. All right. Excellent. Yeah. This is very cool. So along the back lines, we're going to go backwards about four, and we're going to send it all the way to the end uh, to put it in there like this. That makes sense, I think. We're then going to delete the, the last line, I think. 
Yeah, just like so. Good. We're going to put these guys in instead. And hopefully this will make it look better. I'm sure it will, but we'll see. So that's going to go to there. We're going to need railings all the way along as well. Uh, and we'll do that. And then we need this bit to look nicer as well. So I'm going to start on the floor. Directly below this one, if I can. So from there downwards. There we go. Delete four up. Excellent. Grab this one. Put it right there. And yeah, I think that's probably fine. Right there. Good. So attach that all the way up to the top. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Put it there like so. All the way up to there. Delete this piece. And have this piece on the tippity top of that. And honestly, that should be fine. I know it looks very weak, but I think that's actually okay. Uh, we're then going to do a similar thing right here also. All the way down into the floor. Uh, we will delete the last four. And we'll replace it with one of these. There we go. Excellent. I think that, that works. I think that's okay. Um, yeah, good. So we're going to do this uh, from here this way. We're going to do this from here this way. And then we're going to delete... Actually, no. Not this one. But this one. Is that right? I don't know if that's right. So this kind of needs to go across there like so. We then need to le delete that and put this in here like this. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we'd then like to actually attach these guys together, but it's kind of impossible uh, the way that we've got this. I'm sure it's fine. So that could go there like that. They've all attached together. I think it's fine. There you go. So whack this last, last little bit right there. And yeah, okay. So we got this going down both sides. That's fine. Let's go ahead and paint them in real quick. And then we'll go from there. So line right here, line all the way to the end. And then line from here all the way to the end of this bit. Which, you know, might take some time. But at the same time, uh, it shouldn't take too, too long. Because it's not actually that big, this hanger. Although, I guess maybe it actually is. Anyway, we'll go down there. Uh, no, we won't. We won't, but we will grab this green color. And we'll do this all the way backwards. Just to make sure we're not painting anything else random. Uh, and we'll bring this all the way down to the end. And this should be pretty sick, to be honest. So from there, this way. Yes. We're going to go into this and we're going to do that. We're going to do these guys. We're going to do this bit and all of this. And now we should be able to jug it and that'll be fine. So all of this. Let's go ahead and jug it this color. And there we go. Oh, yeah. I actually really like that. That's cool. Next thing is railings. Here we go. Let's go ahead and smash these in. That one right there. This one right here. And uh, honestly, we're going to have to delete that piece, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, in order to actually put these guys in, which I believe are this color. So we're going to do that all the way across to there. That's fine. We're going to do this, obviously, all the way across to here. And then we're going to do this all the way to the end. Yeah, there we go. Literally all the way to the end is fine. There we go. Brilliant. That's very, very cool. So we've added an upstairs inside the, uh, the bottom aircraft hangar. Uh, and I'm actually really pleased with that. It's good. The other thing I kind of feel like we need in here is actually a center line on the uh, the middle bit. So we're going to go across about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. Okay, but we're going to do it in actual white. Uh, it might be a bit strange, but we're going to go with it. So, like that. Yep. We're going to continue. And we're going to do it over and over and over again. Just so that we know where the center line is if we're ever driving a plane uh, into here. Because otherwise... It might be pretty tricky, to be honest. So, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So, yeah, it might be pretty tricky if we didn't know where the center line was uh, to keep it stable in the middle. So, there you go. Fix that now. All right. Move back out to here. Grab one of these. Move it back into this room. And we're going to put that right there. Very good. We're then going to take the next one. And build it in all the way up. And we should be good to go. So, actually... Uh, put that there. Put that there, 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 there. Yep, we're going to do this literally all the way to the top. So, all the way to that one. And that's all fine. We then go to this piece. We grab this color. And we do this all the way up the edge. There we go. Yep, beautiful. And I'm actually going to paint the side pieces this color. Because we can. And we should. There we go. Then we're going to go to the other side. Grab this color. Which looks like it's actually just white. It looks like it's actually just white. So we're going to send that all the way up to the top. Which then means all of this should be white, right? Which is kind of ridiculous. Because I feel like that's way too bright. But maybe not. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Is, is white too bright for this? I'm also painting the walls. 
All right, what I'll do, because it's easier, is actually delete all of this and then replace it with a white one. Uh, and that should be good. So, uh, paint that that color. Grab it again. There we go. And send it back. Whee! There we go. All the way to the end. Uh, it definitely made it easier. So, there you go. Right, nice. That actually adds quite a lot of detail to this room. I'm pretty happy with that. It's good. All right, so over here in this corner, we need to try and figure some things out over here. So... For example, it does need, like, a fire extinguisher per bay, I guess. So we're actually going to go ahead and add one of those in straight away. So fire extinguisher straight in there at the end. There we go. One there and I guess one there. I think that's fine. Realistically, not every one of these is going to be on fire at the same time. Hopefully, anyway. May maybe they will be. Who knows? But anyway, we're going to put that there. We're then actually going to go ahead and put these guys in. Realistically, I don't want fire extinguishers either. I know that might be weird, but I don't want fire extinguishers. Um, okay, good. Yes. And then what else do we need down here? So, defibrillators, no. First aid kits, yes. Uh, hoses, probably actually a good idea. So, we'll, we'll whack that in on the bottom. Alright, of both of these. And then we'll delete this hole in the wall. We'll get ourselves a hose connector thingamabobby. We'll whack that directly on here like this. We'll delete this piece and put a button in. Uh, and yeah, we'll actually have electrified things down here. I know upstairs we built one of these in, but it was a, uh, what was it? It was, it was hand pumped. We're not going to do that for this one. So yeah, hose, connector, there we go. Whack that in there like so. Excellent. Then we essentially just need to bring it down from there into the water, down from here, straight into the water and that'll be fine. All right, here we go. Pipes. Grab that one, send it down, go ahead and send it literally straight down. We'll add a pump to this and it'll be fine. So there you go. Excellent. That one's done. The next one, we need to do the same thing. Down into the bottom. Excellent. Yeah. All right, whack this directly under here. Like so. We'll put some inline pumps in, and then we'll be good to go from there. One, two, and three. Pump. Pump. There we go. Excellent. We're going to get this one. Whack it straight under there like so. Hopefully this is the out one. It is. We're going to do it again over here. One, two, three. Excellent. Put that right there like that. That's that's very nice. Then we go to the underside of this. Delete these in the right places. Hopefully that is the right place. And oh, of course this is here. <laughs> of course it's right here, but that's okay. So pipes, we are obviously going to send this down and straight through there. That's fine. We're then going to get a fluid port and uh, attach that onto there as well. Here we go. Fluid port. Grab the right color. Grab the fluid port yet again. Whack it straight into there. Excellent. Take it to this side. Put it directly on there. And... Yeah, no, this is this is actually fine. So we're gonna use salt water to put out fires. There we go. One there. And one there. Take it to the other side. Do the same thing. There we go. And there we go. We now need to see if these actually work, but I'm sure they do. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is actually grab a door like this one. We need to fill in these holes, otherwise, people will be able to uh uh, uh, flood everything and that would be really bad. So we are having some sort of separation between the rooms Obviously, this is already separated out with doors uh, The other side of the ship is obviously this is separate as well And then we've obviously got all of this area back here, which we also need to separate into little compartments uh, But we won't do that just yet because uh, we don't necessarily have a need for that just yet. So we won't uh, As well as that we actually need to make the engines look a little bit better because they currently don't look that good so we'll do that very soon as well. Uh, what else do we need in here? So this is for actually putting out fires. So let's make this like red. There you go. Just to make sure it looks like it is for putting out fires. There you go. Uh, refueling should also probably be done in here. But maybe we'll only do that on the top deck. That does sort of make sense. Um, so yeah, this is... This is for fires. We need to remember that. Otherwise we'll have problems. So... That there, excellent. This here, yes. Yeah, I think that works. I think that's fine. All right, so with that being said then, uh, we do actually need to somewhat add a little bit more detail to this, uh, realistically. So let's go ahead and grab one of these, uh, and we will actually be putting these in every so often up here. Uh, I'll finish off doing those, and then we'll figure it out from there. Also, with that being said, we might actually be able to put some windows in. I kind of like the idea of doing it, but at the same time, maybe not. All right, so I, I guess we don't want things to be like... Whoa, whoa what just happened? Uh, I don't want things to be like super complicated down here. I also don't want things to be super minimal down here. So 
What we've actually added is is okay. Obviously, we've got the balcony up there. There's nothing on it. That's that's completely fine. Uh, it's just for a, a, like a little bit of looks. That's that is okay. Uh, with that being said, one thing that I do think we should add to these rooms is a similar thing to what we added uh, upstairs. So this will go up through here. It'll then go through the floor and into the ceiling. However, in this bit, uh, I guess it should. Yeah, it should still do it. So that's going to go there like that. Excellent. We'll then have to build this in so that it looks good. Uh, and we'll go from there. Hopefully, uh, this doesn't interrupt our stuff too badly. But I think it might. Anyway, we're going to put that right there. We're then going to come to this side. And we're going to do the same thing right here. So, one, two. And then all the way up to the top. There we go. Very good. We're then going to add this piece. Yes. And we're also going to add this piece. Just like so. And we're going to continue uh, adding these along. All the way down. So one here, one there. There we go. Good. One there, one there. And all the way up to the top. There we go. Very good. And this piece, all the way up to the top. Yep. And then we need to attach these guys as we go along. And hopefully that'll be okay. So put that there. Put it there, clearly. Attach this guy onto there also. This guy onto there also. And the planes should be able to still fit in the middle. So I think I'm actually completely fine with doing this. There you go. Two right there. Do these two, one and two, do that up to the top, there we go, uh, and yeah, it just adds a hell of a lot of detail, um, maybe not like a hell of a lot of detail, but it makes it look better uh, than it would be, so I'm actually really pleased with this, that's fine, we're then going to attach that onto there, we're going to attach this onto there also, and I think that's actually a really awesome little bit of detail, we're then at the top going to do a similar thing, so poke it out a little bit, and then we'll go from there, and, yeah, we'll make this look great. We will make this look amazing. Alright, one there. And we're not going to do it on the end one because, I mean, <laughs> it's already got a big box there. So we can't really do that. But, yeah, this will add a little bit of structure for us. Uh, hopefully make things look a little bit better, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so that's on there all the way around. We're then going to attach these guys on, clearly. Uh, to literally every single one of these. And that should be good. Yeah. We can still walk around up here, because we can still fit through these gaps. But uh, it should be a little bit more detailed, so I'm happy with that. Alright, the other thing that I'm actually going to add is a bunch of uh, rope also, because I feel like we should add some rope. So let's just go ahead and attach that directly to the sides of here. Two there, two here, and two in every other one as well, because I think we should. So there you go, two there. We'll do two here, and we'll continue it along. Delete this one, put these two in, put these two in. And yeah, I think that's I think that's brilliant. It's a little bit of detail uh, that we don't necessarily need, but uh, we have it. So there you go. I might also actually delete the middle of these, all right, which is kind of strange in itself. But then actually put in uh, a bit of a like winch, or maybe not that size actually. Probably not that size, uh, but a little bit smaller winch maybe. So yeah, we'll add winches into here just in case we need to pull things in. So, let's go ahead and put this right here like this. Have it angled down. That seems pretty awesome. I then want it somewhat in the middle of these if I can. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's really annoying. Uh, okay, but we'll we'll do it anyway. So, there you go. And then on this one, where's the middle of this? I don't even know. I don't even know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, again, we've got an issue, but that's okay. So I'll attach this straight into here, just like so. And yeah, I guess that totally works. Brilliant. Do you guys think the inside of the ship should be more, like, uh, should be brighter? Because I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, but maybe the inside of the ship should be brighter. Uh, so, like, inst actually, maybe the entire ship could be brighter. So we go with this instead of this. Oh, there you go. Yeah, now it's more like a whitey gray rather than a bluey gray. Which, uh, yeah, I think I like more. Yeah, it's it's definitely grayer than blue. So I think I'm actually really pleased with that. Uh, it'll also light up the interior of the ship a lot more too. With that being said, I also want to change this color to essentially white, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and jug that color differently. Oh, no, it... it oh. Right, grab that color and we should be able to like paint it in the floor. I don't even know what color this is. I, I don't know whether it's this or what. But let's go ahead and see. So, paint that like so. I oh, don't even know. 
I don't know what color we've used here. It's super duper annoying. Is it this? I think it might be this. So what we'll do is we'll paint a tiny section on the floor this color. We'll then actually just change that color into other colors. Hang on. So do this. And change that to white, for example. Now the lights themselves have actually changed to white. Excellent. So now we grab this, we paint this, and in theory now, it should be brighter down here when we come down here and we turn the lights on. So, yeah, that's good. Alright, so for every single one of these, we're going to have an in and an out. Uh, we're not going to add anything else other than that, so let's go ahead and add some buttons uh, and allow that to actually work. So grab the color, uh, delete that, grab the actual button itself. There you go, toggle buttons. We're going to go ahead and put that right there and right there. Uh, we will actually connect all of this together. So this is up and this is down. Let's go ahead and label this. Uh, out and in. There you go. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. And then we can copy and paste them along. And that should be fine, I think. So go to this side and connect them together. So this is up and this is down. So this is out and this is in. All right. There we go. So now what we do is we actually grab that. We grab this. There you go. Take it to the other side. Grab all of this as well. And then we copy it. Yep. We move it over to the edges. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, we don't copy it. We cut it. All right. So cut it. Cancel the cut. There you go. So it goes back in. Then move this along to where this one is. Paste it right there. I actually put it in, a, in the wrong location, right? Oh, maybe I didn't. All right. So we merge this with this. Excellent. We'll then actually cut it again. Because they should be connected together, but actually they're... Yeah, they are. Alright. Although it's not, there's not much to it, to be fair. But anyway, bring this across. Undo that so that comes back. And then put this one in right there. Paste it in. We'll merge it in. And that should be good. So merge this with this. And that is fine. Yeah. I don't know whether we want some spotlights uh, pointing down on these. Because I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, or not. I'm not sure. But we've added detail now, so I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Uh, as for what goes on underneath here, I'm not entirely sure. But I do think something should be down there. But I, d I just don't know what. I'm not very good with interior detailing at all. So we could add some random stuff, but I'm not sure I want to. Really not sure I want to. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What do these look like? What do these actually look like? Kind of wouldn't mind actually adding these in as like decoration. Don't really know what they... I mean, they're, they're, they're condensers, right? But are they condensers? What would you call them? I can't actually put them in there next to each other like this. That's really annoying. But maybe we can actually put one here. That's strange, isn't it? What a strange thing to add. Let's do it. There you go. They look like big batteries, kind of. Bit weird. Uh, but yeah, we got those on both sides. That's fine. Um, and then realistically, I kind of want to add, like, things around it, too. So, like, these... Could go right there. And I think that'll be fine. Yeah, we're going to leave those there. Bit strange, but sure, why not? Uh, also, let's change the color of it to this. And these ones as well. Brilliant. We're going to leave that like that. Kind of interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and save this currently as it is. Uh, then we'll go ahead and spawn it in and see what the lights are like. And see if we can actually walk around in here. And then we'll go from there. Alright, so we did actually change the color of it. Let's go ahead and change the uh, daytime to actually allow us to see that, shall we? So there you go, it's on this side now. Uh, I do actually like the idea of it being brighter. Uh, the darker color did also work, but I think brighter also works. So we'll leave it bright for now, uh, and we'll go with that. But uh, yeah, turn on all the lights if we can. We're going to go downstairs. We can then go further... What's this? What is that? Sure, wait, I had stairs in here before, didn't I? I'm sure I had stairs in there before. But anyway, uh, we could jump on here and we can make it go down real quick. Down. There we go. Excellent. I really like that. I think that looks awesome. Uh, and I am going to keep that. I might delete those uh, and do what you guys said and put them in there. That'd be really cool. Uh, but no, we need to go down to here. Turn on the lights. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. It's still dingy down here, but honestly, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I actually really, really like it. So, if we were trying to actually pull things around, does it work? In. Yeah, it does. Alright, out. 
Yeah, it's letting it down. Okay, so I'm actually really pleased with this. I think it's, uh, I think we've done a, d a decent job. I think we've done a really decent job. Cool. We've also got this up here. Obviously, we can run up here now and we can go around here. We don't even have to crouch to get around there, so that's good. Uh, and then we can go through this door into this room. And then we can go up into here if we needed to, which is actually fantastic. I really like that. That's, that's actually awesome. Um, however, with that being said, where's the... Where do these go? Oh, they're not actually up to the middle. Ah, that's a problem. Where does this go? This doesn't lead anywhere. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. We just got some stairs there. That's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I guess that, that totally works now. So all we need to do now is actually add some stairs down from here down to the next level. We need to get rid of that because I'm not sure what it is. Uh, and then we need to actually make the bridge look nicer in terms of the interior. And I guess the exterior. Uh, and then we'll go from there. But uh, for right now, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. And very soon, we'll start working on some planes uh, to actually allow this to be functional. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.